our COVID coverage now and a new COVID-19 vaccine could soon be available. Makers of Novavax vaccine are optimistic the FDA will soon give them emergency youth authorization for people 18 and older. KCR3's Amy Liu is live in Washington this morning and Amy, this isn't the only new development for the vaccines. Yeah, that's right, Teo. The FDA has several meetings planned for this month. Starting today, an advisory committee will be debating emergency use of that Novavax COVID-19 vaccine. It's already being used in places like Europe it's, and is considered a protein vaccine that's different from the traditional mRNA shots like Pfizer and Moderna are. Studies show two doses of the vaccine could be up to 90% effective in preventing COVID. Novavax says the shot could be a top choice for boosters and may be an alternative for people who are skeptical about the current vaccines that are available. Also happening next week, the FDA is going to be debating Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines for children under the age of five, with the White House saying that those shots could be available as soon as this month, Tao. So Amy, uh, Pfizer is investing more into production of its COVID-19 antiviral treatment, we know, but as concerns over rebound infections after taking the pill are increasing, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So Pfizer is investing about $120 million into Paxlovid. That's that oral antiviral pill you might have heard about. Uh, there has been some recent concerns about the effectiveness of the pill. Some people have been reporting relapsing when it comes to symptoms. Doctors say they're going to look into it, see what's going on there. But they're also going to see if that they need to take a second round of the Paxlovid pill, especially for patients who are at a severe risk of having COVID-19 symptoms. All right. Thank you so much, Amy. Millions of COVID vaccine doses have been wasted in the U.S. The CDC says pharmacies, states and federal agencies threw out more than 82 million vaccines from December 2020 to mid-May. CVS and Walmart were responsible for over a quarter of those. The wasted doses include some that expired before they could be used. Others were tossed at the end of the day when no one wanted the last few doses in an open vial. Providers say declining demand, large minimum orders and multi-dose vials make it hard to avoid waste while still offering shots to anyone who wants them. Well, the city of Lodi has limited supply of COVID-19 test kits available for residents. You can pick yours up on a first come first serve basis this Thursday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. or until kits run out. Each box contains two tests, limit two boxes per household. The city of Lodi asks you enter Salas Park from the southbound lane on Stockton Street. No walk-ups will be allowed and quickly mentioned too, oftentimes your insurance will cover a number of tests yeah. that you can get through your pharmacist too, so ask your pharmacist.